Hello everyone, this is Hunter Collector here with another action figure review. And here we have the Ames Scientist Supreme uh, Marvel Legends uh, figure uh, from the Super Villains wave, uh, the first wave for that. Um, we get the Marvel Legends logo on top here, Super Villains logo there, Ames uh, Scientist Supreme. Here's the side art of the Scientist Supreme there. Here's the back art with that same picture there. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. We get the Marvel Legends logo there. And then we're building Ximenu. Zim, I don't know how to pronounce his name yet. <laughs> um, but we get um, Dr. Doom. We get Dorna Dormammu. We already went through the hood. We got Lady Deathstrike Arcade. We already did Red Skull. And now we're doing uh, Ain Scientist Supreme. We get that same picture there. Nothing on top. Here's the bottom with the DCPI. Fill focus on that for you. There you go. But besides that, let's crack them open. And here's AIM Scientist Supreme out of package here. Let's move all that. But let's go over the accessories first. So first we get Ximenu's uh, right arm, which we'll go over once we build them. And then the last one, the only one that is supposed to be meant for him is this like little tablet thing that you get for him. So um, you get this like little gray piece here where he holds it. And then you get like the holographic look that comes out you get this nice sculpt here you get this like aim logo there with that and you get all these lines it looks like a keyboard right here it's a transparent blue plastic so yeah that's pretty cool and yeah it's mainly meant for him to hold it but not really anything else i wish they came with like a blaster or something for him but no but that's all we got for accessories for him but here is the aim scientist supreme here so first you get this helmet here I like the gold that they use for this. You get a little bit of marbling across the helmet though. Just a little bit. You can barely tell because I think they did like a second coat of paint. You can definitely see it on the chest piece here though. Uh, I like the blue that they use for the helmet. And then you get this like little vent area here. You get a little bit of a paint splotch there where the vent is on his like mouth. You see. And then the sculpt looks nice here. The helmet looks good. You get this black collar around his neck here. You get that AIM logo sculpted there. Uh, you get these shoulder pads that just go out a little past his shoulder. Um, you get, like I said, the chest piece, you get a little bit of marble in there. You get the AIM logo there sculpted and painted blue. Um, and you get these gold arms here. A little bit of mispaint there, but you can barely tell why in person uh, and then you get this like elbow pad here you still get peg holes i feel like the i don't know what it is but also like the knees have that same thing i feel like the knees have been used from another figure i just don't like not the knees but the leg here i don't know what figure it's from i feel like it's from an like old figure um and then i think the arms are too they just added this like little elbow pad to it um, but yeah, and then you get this cool looking uh, hand sculpt here with, where you get the gold knuckles there and then you get this gold V around his forehand there. It's holding hands there uh, and then you get this belt here that you get. So it kind of looks like an arc reactor around this like buckle piece here and you get this extra blue piece here and you get these big massive gray pouches here. So that's pretty cool. And then you get this like black pants area here around this crotch and ass uh but <laughs> um but yeah uh, and then like i said you get the gold leg here with the knee pads and then you get like this other black piece here for the ankles and you get the gold boots with a little bit of marbling but besides that let's go over the ex uh articulation for him now so his head can hinge let me focus there we go so his head can hinge down that far, or I think it's just, no, it's a ball joint. So it goes down that far, goes up that far, he can look. He could pivot pretty good there. He can look left and right. Um, his shoulders can move out at 90 degrees, basically. Uh, it's kind of hard to do a 360 rotation around the shoulder because that shoulder pad there, biceps swivel. Uh, double jointed elbows, still got the peg holes there for the, those. And then the wrists here, kind of looked like they went side to side for a second. But it goes down that far, up that far, 
360 rotation there. And then instead of an ab crunch, you get a diaphragm joint, a, a ball joint here. Um, so he can go forward barely any. He can go backwards a little bit. He can go side to side. 360 rotation around there. It's a little clicky. Um, I don't know if there's... Nope, it's glued on there. Uh, legs can kick out pretty good. Forward, decent. Backwards, none. Thigh cut, double jointed knees here. Ankles can hinge down that far. Nice and easy too. Up that far and nice ankle pivot. And here's the AIM Scientist Supreme right next to the regular AIM Soldier from the uh, build the army wave or figures uh, from Hasbro and then here's Modoc next to him. So yeah, let's move these out of the way, scoot my tripod over so you can see him a little bit better. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh shoot, he fell. Um, but yeah, this figure is pretty cool. I recommend getting them. He would be a good ad addition to like a AIM army if you are doing that. I, I want to start doing that, but I'm saving up to go to Disneyland in California so I can go do the Avengers Campus. So, yeah. Um, and then, uh, like I said, recommend getting it. Uh, make sure you guys are checking out my Twitch at the Hunter Collector. I'm going to start doing Resident Evil at some point soon. Again, I haven't quite finished the game yet. Um, but besides that, that's all I got. Yeah.